great gentlemen and ladies this is Jan from Improvementor here again the blog that is here to motivate you and get you to your goals Okay, so today I want to be talking about David Goggins. I've already spoke about him earlier in my blog and wrote a biography about him. Nonetheless, this time I'm summing up his book and uh, my review of it. <coughs> so let me create a general outline for you. David Goggins is a kid, a guy who came uh, came out of a very ill-conditioned childhood in which his father used to hit him, his mother, and his brother. And they all used to work at the same business in which he worked as a very, very young child from six years old or something like this. And he had to, to work very, very hard. And he was very tired at night and, um, and couldn't gather his energy when he was at school. So he started developing problems after being hit and all those things. He started uh, having problems at school. He couldn't concentrate. He couldn't read. He couldn't, he couldn't even speak correctly. He, was, he developed asthma. And uh, <clears throat> later, uh, this gap has, has bothered him and uh, interrupted him in, in uh, being successful at school. So he started cheating, cheating uh, at tests, exams, so that he could stay at, no, at a normal education level, not go to special education, which for him meant being labeled for the rest of his life. Okay, so uh, till he was 16 or 17, he used to live this kind of life and uh, playing basketball all the time and... Uh, and having problems and uh, he couldn't couldn't get over himself he was at the bottom the bottom of his life but he had one one hope his grandfather spoke about the air force once and he spoke about it very passionately so he decided that he wanted to go to try out for para rescue man and uh, eventually he got into to the got into the pipeline which which is the training for the pararescue man and, uh, and it's week seven he dropped out because of medical reasons and couldn't complete his training mm, so he couldn't complete it and he joined the tactical air force control party inside the air force and that's where he served for a few years he was very disappointed with himself and he he just let himself loose. He started eating all sorts of things, chocolate, hamburgers, and uh, he just started neglecting himself. And by the end of his service, he, he was uh, uh, at the roach spraying job. That's what he used to do all day, go into restaurants at night, spray jobs. He used to weigh 300 pounds, and uh, that means 135 kg. And that's all he did until one day he saw an advertisement on TV, which uh, which is uh, the advertisement of the recruitment of the Navy SEALs. And he told himself, oh, man, I want to go try out for that. And even though he was in no position to do it and under all the people the same age as him and under conditioned in three months, only in three months of he had succeeded to meet the threshold to to pass on to try for navy seals he dropped 106 pounds and uh he he succeeded in passing the asvab with the correct score from the th third try but nonetheless he succeeded he got into the um, the buds which is the basic underwater demolition school the training for navy seals and uh he passed inside phase number one 
there is a thing called Hell Week. So in Hell Week, basically all the seal seals train for something like 20 hours a day or maybe even more and sleep sops for hours. And he went on to this um, Hell Week and dropped out and then dropped out again, tried again, dropped out again. And for the third time, he succeeded. On broken legs, he succeeded to do this extremely challenging week. So this guy is phenomenally willed, as they say. But it wasn't enough for him. When he, after him joining the Navy, he always kept working on himself. And he went, he went on to continue asking really really strongly to join to join the ranger school which was not a lot easier than the B buds training man this guy he just wouldn't give up so after he went on at ranger school he got a badge of honor and uh for for being great at the at the training, and then uh, <clears throat> then he continued to work, came back to his Navy SEALs, <clears throat> and uh, he began uh, trying to raise money with uh, ultra racing. Ultra racing is basically running uh, very very long races. And one of them, one of the worst of them, is uh, 135 miler in Bedwater, and uh, he just began to run at those, and he finished it at the first tenth, <coughs> even though he was a SEAL and had very, very little cardiac training, meaning heart training. Still, he he went on and and smashed those ultra races, which is something people don't really do ever with, uh, without uh, correct preparation. Basically, guys, he then also went on to to make a pull-up record, um, and he had lots of hardships in his life. And uh, you can read more about that at the blog post. So um, check it out. It's in the bottom in the description. I really, really suggest him reading that book just because... David is a hard ass. I'm sorry for the expression, but that's what he is. And uh, he has, in this book, he just summarizes his life. And uh, he gives us the lessons that he learned. And there is not a lot more than that is greater than learning from great people. And uh, from their life experience, there is not a lot more valuable than that. And uh, you could get it not just for a low amount of money, but you could get it for free if you're not yet an Audible member. You could sign up for 30 days. Of course, it continues later automatically, and if you want to prolong it, then uh, you're welcome. But if you don't, you just get a free book. Also, I want to mention that if you get it, um, if you get it through here, through this link, then... Um, I'll be sharing a quick trick for you to get a few more free books, completely free. Uh, I'm serious. So uh, go check it out, guys. I believe that that you strive very high and that uh, in order to, to get to your goals, you need to study from the best of the best. And David Goggins is indeed one of them. So thank you very much guys and ladies for coming this far in the video with me. If you wish to get more content like this, check it out in the description below. There is the link to the blog and a link to the book if you liked it. I hope you liked this video and if you have any feedback whatsoever, please do comment it, comment it in the comments below. I would really, really like to hear about it. Don't leave any questions unanswered. Thank you very much. Keep grinding. Don't give up. Peace.